Jen, I don't care what anyone says, I have the best assignment this morning. I'm joined by Chef Robert Bennett from Classic Cake in Cherry Hill. Welcome, Chef. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So ice cream for breakfast is Absolutely. what I see in front of us here. So not only are we talking dessert, but I'm very excited because we're talking my favorite, gelato. Yes, and this is homemade gelato. So here in the pot, I already have some milk. You can use non-fat milk, um, low-fat milk. In here, I added some milk powder. Not that dry milk powder because it adds protein. I'm going to add some sugar. Lots of sugar. It's early. We need the energy. Yeah. And I'm going to reserve some sugar. And you're going to whip this. Okay. Just go ahead and whip them together. All right. So we're kind of making what the French call a creme anglaise. It's a vanilla custard sauce. Just like that? And to really, yeah, keep on going. Okay. And to really make it vanilla, this is the real thing. These are vanilla yeah. beans. So I split it. So inside okay. here are those tiny little specks that give you the French vanilla. Put that in there. Now, very slowly, I'm going to add some of this custard. All right. Go ahead. Keep Work whisking. That together. Uh huh. Oop. And then dump it all back in here. Alrighty. Just dump it right into the pot. Easy enough so there far. There you go. So, we want to cook this until it, it's a nappe, as they call it, or it coats the back of the spoon. We don't want to bring it to a boil. So you see, it's going to be a custard. just hot enough. Mm -hmm. Now, if you have the luxury of time, heat up the milk, put in the vanilla bean, take it off, let it steep, just like you're making tea. And then you'll get even more flavor out of that. So I have, here's an ice bath. So the nice coated spoon. Right over the ice. Now, what I'm doing is by cooling it down so, so fast, I'm pasteurizing it. So there's no chance of any microbes or anything to grow in here because it's very high in protein. But that's what's going to make the gelato nice and creamy, creamy smooth. So I have some gelato over here already started. Yeah. This has been churning. So this is a ruby chocolate. It's there. We have white milk and dark chocolate. This is ruby. This is the fourth category now. And I'm an ambassador for Berry Calibo Chocolate Company. So I got my hands on just a few pounds of it. And I'm going to, we're going to uh, drizzle it into this. Okay. To, make, to make ruby chip gelato, I'm going to let you do the drizzling. All right. I'll do the stirring. I'm nervous putting my hands on such a rare <laughs> type of chocolate here. So, of course, as you drizzle it in. All right. All right, that's good. Whoop. It freezes on contact. Oh, I see that. So it's making chips. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Very cool. Mm -hmm. So now, when you do fresh churn gelato, you need to let it ripen, as we call it. So you got to cover it, put it in the uh, freezer, because it's never going to be scoopable right from the, 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 uh, the machine. Yes. So you got to wait for this. But in the meantime, I brought some gelato already done. Yes, so quickly, let's make a sundae yes. here. So We have all the ingredients we need. Sure. Here. Just tap it on there. All right. That way you're not oh putting gosh, water into there. Oh, my gosh, this looks so fresh getting a workout too you got to mm -hmm. work out before you eat it <laughs> come on it's not coming out up oh, there you, we go. Go. <laughs> you got it you're the chef you have the magic <laughs> touch all right and then we got to put some of the goodies on it of yes. course and i'm gonna put some pistachio can you use my hands of course of course i'm gonna start with sprinkles because i love sprinkles here And this is a strawberry flavored chocolate. All right. And of course, we need to add some of these rubies. And that's the real thing. Yep. That's the ruby. And then put on some fruit because we have to be a little bit healthy here. Yeah, it's and breakfast. Then, chef, I need to. I can't <laughs> hold back any longer. Mmm. So good. Like so delicious. Now, if we want more information on you or yes. to visit you, where can we go? Classiccake.com. We are opening up at 1617 JFK uh, this September. That will be our second uh, big retail right near City Hall. Great. Well, thanks so much for being here thanks this morning. Thanks for having me. All right, John, I'll save a little bit for you <laughs> if you're lucky.